class, you have learned that the gradient gives the direction of fastest increase of a function of several variables. This means if you are at a point and look at the direction of the gradient, the then the function will go grow as fast as possible in precisely that direction. Let's see if we can look at this in GeoGebra. For that, I have taken a function f of x, y equals to x squared plus 2y squared plus 1. This function, as you can see, has a minimum at the origin. Let's look at the growth of this function, the level of this function, putting a plane here and moving it up. As you can see, when the plane goes up, the function takes bigger and bigger values, starting from a minimum. The minimum takes place when x and y are both equal to zero and the function is equal to one. The level curves represented on the plane are ellipses. Because we have a factor of two in front of the y square that are a little bit more flattened in the y direction. As you can see, there is a minimum and how the ellipses are growing. And we'll take a point in the minimum here on the left and have computed this point. You see the curves are growing, the values of f are growing when the curves grow. So the gradient should point out of the curves, away from the origin. The origin is a minimum, so going towards the origin reduces the value of the function. Our gradient should go outside. To compute the gradient, here you have the formula for the partial derivative of f. Here it is. This part here, highlighted, is the partial derivative of f with respect to x and the number 1 means you take the derivative once. So it's the first partial derivative and here you have the second partial derivative. So let's make a point here. This point is our p plus the gradient. So in order to see it properly, what I do is take the gradient vector. And let's move the gradient vector. See, the gradient is always pointed away from the origin because the origin is where the function is going decreasing and function increases away from the origin and as you can see here the gradient becomes bigger and bigger in length as we move away so the gradient is telling us not only you cannot see here because of let me remove this thing here you have the length of the gradient in number d so let's go and check from the beginning. Here is the length of the vector, this one here, is the length of the vector. And you see it's becoming bigger and bigger as we go away because the function grows fastest and faster. And that's all. Hope it helps.